If you are an electric scooter owner or if you are planning to buy an electric scooter, this video is for you. In this video, I will tell you 8 common mistakes committing by electric scooter customers and I will tell you some tips to increase your electric scooter lifetime and also I will tell you some useful information where you can save up to 50,000 rupees to 80,000 rupees on your battery pack. It actually improves your lifetime of your battery pack. So definitely it is a useful video for electric scooter customers. So please watch this video till the end. Namaste, I am Krishna Yatanya Mandela, your EV bro. The first point is don't ride your electric scooter in flooded water or, or even in the complete clotted water. So what will happen? Recently there are some videos circulated in the internet. Some, some person riding an electric scooter in the flooded water. So th that person survived using an electric scooter. But that doesn't applicable to all electric scooter owners. The customer might think, okay, this person survived in a flooded water also, I can also try this. Just remember that not a single company will provide you battery pack warranty if in case your battery pack affected due to water. So this point will not be revealed by companies, but it is our common sense to think about that if a battery pack is submerged in the water, it will obviously affect it with the water conditions. So you might think that IP67 rated is there. So IP67 rated is not for flooded condition. There, there is a certain point of time. For example, if you are riding your electric scooter in rainy condition, it's okay. But purpose, purposefully, if you are draining your electric scooter in water or if you are draining your electric scooter in flooded water, definitely will affect your battery pack. So don't do that because you don't get your warranty just because you are using that purposefully in the flooded water. So don't try that just because somebody tried it and I can also try this. If you see that there is a possibility that complete scooter will submerge, try to avoid it because you can save your electric scooter. You need to ride for a future as well. And the second point, don't drain your electric scooter battery completely up to 0%. There are some customers who purposefully drain their battery packs like 0% completely the, bat the scooter will not move. Why you shouldn't drain the battery pack till 0%? It will affect your battery life cycles. As long as there is some particular certain amount of energy left in your battery pack while you are charging the scooter, you will get good lifetime. But the moment you completely making the battery till 0% repetitively, it will affect your battery. Sometimes there is a possibility your battery pack completely dead, it, it won't work further. So during these cases, there are chances that your company will not offer you warranty for the battery pack under the condition due to your negligence, you are making the battery pack completely dead. So don't go to a situation where you are making accountable for your battery pack complete dead life. And, the, and even there are possibilities like your insurance claim amount will also reduce just because you are repetitively keeping your charge till zero percentage. And the third point, don't put more load than the company recommends. For example, your electric scooter company recommend you to keep only 150 kgs of load or 200 kgs of load. Just use the same load capacity. Maximum you can add another 20 to 50 kgs, emergency 100 kgs. But repetitively if you are using double the demanded load, what will happen? It will impact the motor capacity and again it will impact your battery pack capacity and moreover it will impact your shock absorbers too. Sometimes you need to repetitively change the shock absorbers and most importantly there are some chances that your battery pack completely fails because you are keeping more load than the company recommended and there are some situations where customers went to the dealer and uh, had a argument that uh, my battery pack failed and the dealer replied that because you kept the more load on it so there is a chance for that so don't use more load than the company recommended and the fourth point don't overcharge your battery pack and this is one common mistake by electric scooter customers they what they will do they will charge the electric scooter midnight so they, they will plug in the charger and they will forget that they are charging the scooter. So again in the morning, they will remove the plug. And you might have a question like these days, all the lithium and battery pack scooters comes with a automatic cutoff charger. There is an automatic cutoff charger is there, but still, if in case a thermal runaway event happen in your lithium and battery pack, if, if in case a fire incident occur in your lithium and battery pack, what the manufacturer is telling means, they are telling that due to high voltage in your house, the battery pack is being affected. Your scooter is catching fire. So they are not telling that it is the fault of the charger. They are telling that it's the charge, it is the fault in your house. So why we need to take any chance here? See, it's our, it's our priority 
to safeguard our battery pack or to safeguard our property so don't take any chances here try don't charge the electric scooter at midnight times if you think that i will wake till 12 am in the morning so just 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 unplug the charger and sleep if you think i i will wake up early morning 6 then keep the charge in the morning so don't keep the charge over charging at the time so over charge again it will affect your battery pack also so because of that sometimes uh, if in case any fire incident happen means there are chances the company will not provide you any warranty and there are chances you don't get any insurance for your damage also and the fifth point is always maintain full air pressure and this is the most common problem i, I am observing in the electric scooter owners the electric scooter customers forgetting that it is actually a tubeless tire it is not airless tire you need to keep air in your tire okay if you don't maintain proper air pressure it will again impact your motor life and also on the battery pack life as well for example if you don't keep proper air pressure what will happen means the rotations of the tire will reduce for example you need to go 1 kilometers you actually go up to 950 meters only because the air pressure is less in the tire and another thing the range whatever whatever the range you need to get it will reduce because the rotation gets reduced and your range will also reduce because of the less air pressure it will impact your motor also the motor need to take more profit, more power from the battery pack because of that your battery pack life will also affect so just because of one one mistake from your end just you you keeping the air pressure low it will affecting your motor capacity it affecting your battery pack life it affecting your, your range so don't do this mistake maintain proper air pressure and the next point is it's about smart features and these days electric scooter comes with a remote key option so most of the customers think that the remote key do doesn't consume much power what will happen for example uh, you are not using the electric scooter even though if you don't use your electric scooter as long as the battery pack is, is on in on position your remote key consume a little amount from the battery pack so better what you do is try to keep the mcb off position so that you will reduce some of the battery pack consumption as long as the remote key is on your electric scooter is working like it any time you will get an instruction any time the controller think that okay i i will get any any time an instruction from my owner i need to be alert the moment you switch off the mcb completely you, you don't get any you don't observe any kind of battery drain so if you think that you don't using the electric scooter for one hour or more than that time better switch off the mcb so that you don't get any kind of battery drainage issues and the seventh point it's mostly about electric scooter customers who are using lead acid batteries and uh, graphene battery technologies whenever you are using graphene batteries or lead acid battery electric scooters consume the battery up to 80 percentage for example if you charge the electric scooter 100 percentage utilize the electric scooter range up to 80 percentage only when the battery percentage is 20 percent then charge the electric scooter but customers doing a mistake that they are repetitively charging the scooter even though they consume up only 10 to 20 percent only they use 10 kilometers of range again they plug in the charger they use only 5 kilometers range again they plug in the charger because lead acid battery packs charging time is high up to 8 to 10 hours of time so because of the reason they go for a short distance drive again they, they keeping the charge if you do the mistake repetitively it will impact the battery pack life there is a real life example where a lead acid battery pack customer he get only 1200 kilometers lifetime with the lead acid battery pack because he frequently charged the battery pack and it affected the battery pack his battery pack died so it's a must follow precaution always charge your lead acid battery or graphene battery when it is 20 percentage don't charge when it is a 90 percent charge or 80 percent charge or 50 percent charge only if there is 10 to 20 percentage battery percentage remaining then only charge it for a more more lifetime and the final point it's about using other chargers and this is also one common mistake making by electric scooter customers usually the customer purchase an electric scooter uh, when you during the time of purchase the company offers a company charger but in case any problem happen with the charger the customer usually look for the aftermarket chargers and they will look this charger cost is less and they try to go purchase it if you don't use a company charger there are possibilities you will get voltage fluctuations that is point number one and the point number two there are some customers who purchase high voltage chargers just to make sure to fast charge a battery pack they will buy a high voltage charger by using a high voltage high voltage charger there are two two problems it will impact your battery pack life 
and the other other point is there is a there is a possibility your battery pack completely dead so why to take this risk better go for the company suggested charger at least recommended charger recommended voltage if you don't know the voltage you go and buy a 60 volt charger for a 48 volt battery pack again it will damage your battery pack so always remember these eight points before buying an electric scooter or or if you are using an electric scooter follow these steps it will improve your battery pack life and also improve your lifetime of the vehicle so these are the suggestions from my end and these are the common mistakes making by electric scooter customers if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro charge the nature try the future